So whether you want to have sweet treats to have whenever you want or make a strawberry smoothie, today we're going to be showing you guys how you can grow your very own strawberry plants at your own house. And I hope to cover any questions you might have, but if you do, put them in the comments. Let's jump into it. So this is what they look like straight out the package. But what you should do as soon as you get them is get a bowl of water and what you'll do, you'll rest them in there for about 30 minutes to an hour and then you can go out and plant them and I'll show you guys just how to do that. I have a favorite uh, storefront on Amazon that I like to get my strawberries. I'll put it, the link in the description box below this video. I think it's like $10 for 10. Um, great deal for me in my experience better than Lowe's and the strawberry plants have been great, strong. Um, and these are the Eversweet varieties and I just have a bowl that's filled up with water here and all we're going to do is sit the roots right in there and let them rest for about 30 minutes. Isn't that cool? So let's have, I'm just going to give them a little bath. <laughs> so I'll put the link in the description box below the video for where I get my strawberry plants. They come in a package just like this. And all I did was fill up some water and soak the roots inside the water, giving them a little bath. Um, I'm gonna come back in 30 minutes and then we'll put them in the ground. But for the most part, I'm just trying to avoid filling up the water too high where it goes above this crown. I really want the water to get right to the roots because that's where we're looking for so that they can stay hydrated and give them a little head start before we plant them in the ground. The crown of the strawberry plant is this utmost part, it's the thickest part, and you don't even want to cover that with soil because it can expose it to more disease. And they're actually higher likelihood of dying if you do that. But I'll give you that whole rundown when we take it to the garden. Um, but these plants are great. I, in fact, I can actually tell you they are from Handpicked Nursery. And they said if you're not satisfied at any time, they give you their number. Pretty cool company. And I ordered a couple Eversweet strawberry plants from other companies. This, this is the one that worked best for me. Not paid advertising, I paid for this. Um, I just appreciate the company and appreciate this nursery uh, for their fast response and great quality plants. But without further ado, let's come back in 30 minutes and then we'll see how they're doing. All right, it's been 30 minutes. And we have our strawberry plants basking in this water that we had for them. And now it's time to plant. You can see some strawberry plants that I had. And they're doing real well. This is the same method that I use for them. I started off with a little bit. And you can see there's runners coming from them. And so these plants actually multiply. And they replicate pretty fast. So if you, you might not need any um, like a super huge amount of strawberries to get started because you'll find they'll just continue to multiply. So if you hear these things going off, these are gopher spikes running off of solar power that actually help keep the gophers away. They actually do a pretty good job. I'm happy with them. Um, but let's get started with this again. I wanted to show you the strawberry plant. Okay, so this is the crown and here's the root system. We wanna bury until we get right to the base of this crown. Well, from here down should be covered in soil and here up be exposed. The reason is for that, the strawberries do not like it when you cover um, the crown up with dirt, this area right here. We want to expose it, it also helps um, decrease the chance for disease. Um, if you put it and you bury it too high, it could actually kill the strawberry plant. They really don't like it. Let's plant it right now. I have weed barrier over here and along the edges of where I want the strawberries to grow, I have my irrigation line. And so all I'm going to do now is find the spot that I want to plant. I think that's going to be right here. And I'm just going to dig with my fingers. If I had a shovel right next to me, <laughs> I would definitely use it. But I'm going to dig with my fingers because I think it'll be fine. And for the sake of the video, I want to show you guys. Okay. And when you get deep enough, you want to try to spread, spread the roots out as much as possible. And then you can put them in there. And remember, we don't want to bury too deep. We want to 
we want to put the plant at the right height. Okay, now I'm just filling it back with dirt. And we're looking good. There we have it. And now our strawberry plant is planted. So I'm excited for even more strawberries. Ever sweet variety are, as you can guess, pretty sweet. I'm excited for them in desserts, cheesecakes, just for tasting. They're gonna be delicious. And I have a lot more to plant. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, put them in the uh, description box below this video. And hey, if you stayed for a while, so this video is almost over, which I mean, it was pretty short, but straight to the point. Here's a screenshot. Take it. Um, that way you can take a picture of it and it has all the information that you might need. All right, I'm going to finish planting my strawberries. I hope you guys have a great day. And until next time, I'll see you.